Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I'm here with another LEGO EV3 Mindstorm tip. In this particular tip, we're going to take a look at the comments. Now I know you're probably thinking once again, oh my gosh, I already know all this stuff, but I just want to give you some food for thought because I think the comments is something that's often overlooked, not utilized enough. It can make your life a lot easier as you're progressing through a first LEGO League season, working through your classwork or just exploring for fun and so what I think is important is in here is that you have two different ways to do comments the first is to right over here there is this comment option and what this allows you to do in these boxes is to type in ideas and notes you know and what the program is doing this is nice and easy, and you can see that over the summer when I was working on a dragster course for uh, our summer camp, this is exactly what I was doing. So kids were able to see the program when they needed some help, and they were able to understand what I was doing. And I was making notes in blocks that I didn't think they were very comfortable with, right? So this allows you to keep track of things that are happening. As you start to evolve more complex programs and you're trying to troubleshoot where things are going wrong, the comments are huge. They also help explain your program to your judges. More importantly, it helps you make sure that you understand what you're doing. So always try to encourage students to use comments as much as possible. Now the downside to this comment piece is this. Watch what happens if I were to add, let's just add this block here. If I add that, the comments don't move. And so I have done first LEGO League and worked with LEGO EV3 robots with kids now for eight years and what I know is that these programs change all the time and what they what you don't want to do and this is true for adults as well is you're not going to want to drag these comments over and around every single time you change your code so this is why I recommend using this sometimes but using the comment block here and it's often one that a lot of people don't even know about so if you go down here there's this comment block and then it's the same operation. You can explain it though, you know, um, and you just weave these comment blocks into your code. So that way when you're moving things, it goes with it. So I don't have a particular program um, with this, but if I was gonna try this program out and say when you start using the switch blocks and you got multiple programs or parallel programs, what I like to do is put these in here and just make a note of what's going to happen next in terms of what I think is, is going to happen. You know, and I could write my idea here in this comment block. So when I'm troubleshooting, I think of these comment blocks almost like chapters to my story. My story is my mission. So if you're thinking first Lego League and you're trying to go out and capture three or four things, each of these comment blocks is a chapter of you successfully trying to do that. So when you're testing and prototyping a robot and it's not working, you can go right back to the source. It helps you make sense of where in your program you're trying to do certain things. Because otherwise you spend so much time going, okay, what block is it? Where am I at my code? Is it this one? Is it that? And then next thing you know, you're changing the blocks that don't need to be changed. And now you've got a lot of variables going off. So I, I, I highly encourage you to use these comment blocks and build them right into your code. And when you have things finalized, you could then, if you want to eliminate them, you could always bump back up to these comments when you go to print off your missions, use your missions, explain it to other people. So those are just two ways to think about using comments. Very much overlooked block and tip and technique. It'll make your life easier. It'll give you more time to actually work in the long run. And most importantly, it'll help you self-reflect and assess to make sure you actually understand what you're doing in the comment block. Can you actually explain what the block is supposed to do? All right, guys, this is Coffee Chug. Super simple LEGO EV3 tip, but one I think is very helpful. Let me know how else you use comments. What have been, been some ways, some advantages in which using comment blocks, one or the other, has been helpful to you. And more importantly, if you like these videos, a thumbs up and a subscription would be fabulous as we continue to make more to make your life easier and to share the learning journey. Take care, everybody.